Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic, welcome back to my channel. So today I am sharing with you another video where I am making some Christmas embellishments. This is the second video I've posted in probably seven months. So if you missed the first video and you saw this one pop up in your feed and you would like to catch up with me and hear what's been going on, I will link that first video down below so you can get a little update but I am back I'm so happy to be back and I have been working on these Christmas embellishments because I am in a swap with a Christmas binder so I just thought it would be a great way for me to get my feet wet again and to get back in the group of things so today I'm making a Christmas tree shaker I am using this See, I already can't remember like that's how out of touch I am with crafting that glue what is that glue art glitter glue yes oh my goodness so I'm using art glitter glue on this I am rather new to making shakers it's not something I've done a lot of so any of you watching this that could give me some advice on adhesive I would love to know what you use to glue your pieces together. My struggle has been with this glue, and maybe it's just how it is, which you can tell me that too, but once I get the acetate glued onto this front piece here, it's really hard for me with this art glitter glue to get that to adhere to the, the foam piece. And I've had shakers break open if I'm not constantly paying attention to the adhesion when the glue is drying so if any of you have any advice for me on that I would sure love it I know that for some people shakers seem like something that you know they're done so much especially in friend mail videos where people are sharing little shakers but I can never find videos really that help me know how to best make them so I would love any advice you guys have to give me so I used three pieces of that thinner foam and in this first shaker I'm going to use some sequins and then in the last two I'm going to use some smaller beads so this die is available on AliExpress right now I recently bought it over the summer and I've seen other people using it it's so cute I will link that down below for anyone who's interested. I'm also going to use these little peppermint candy pieces. I also picked them up on AliExpress. You can get a lot of these little pieces in lots of super cute patterns, but I'll leave that link down below as well. So I'm using the tiny little seed beads and I decided that that was my favorite. So the third Christmas tree also got these seed beads and those little peppermint pieces. So I have a few more videos I'm going to share just where I'm putting together some of the embellishments I've been working on. The binder that I'm creating, I'm actually using an old Better Homes and Gardens cookbook cover. So I'm really excited about that. I haven't gotten to finish the binder yet and now it's, uh, maybe I'll get a chance to work on it before Christmas, but I'm trying to get the house together enough that I can host Christmas Eve here at my house and that is in what eight days Christmas Eve is in eight days I have a lot of work to do <laughs> so anyway it might be after Christmas that I'm finishing and sharing that with you but keep an eye out for that other than that I do plan on getting back into the collections in January there's going to be a little bit of a shift and what's the word remodeling basically to the way collections are done at least for now i don't know we'll see what happens but i'm super excited i've been collecting items for the next collection and it's going to have like a a fun theme like circus fair i have some vintage fair ribbons and some old circus tickets and some popcorn bags so i'm pretty excited about it and i'll be sharing that with you guys after the new year but other than these christmas embellishments and putting things together for that collection. That's what I've been up to other than this working on this house and trying to make it a home. So if you want to catch up, don't forget that first video will be linked down below as well.
So that metal die of the Christmas tree also comes with this little star piece. I am adding that to the top of my tree here. I found that the star didn't quite cover up the whole piece of paper, like it's not really the whole size. So what I'm going to end up doing is using a paint pen to finish off these pieces. So after I, you know, made that little line on my yellow star with gold paint, I'm like, well, I'm just going to fill it in. So much for the uh, yellow cardstock. But I really love the gold paint, as you guys know, and it looks fabulous on top of this star. Also want to let you guys know I'm doing my voiceovers on the back porch. So I'm sorry for all of the like added noise. I know there's a lot of airplane noises sometimes. And the funny thing that I have found about living here where we currently are is there really aren't any songbirds at least by me i'm on a canal and the only little birds talking that i have are those morning doves with their hoo 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 owl sounds <laughs> so anyway you might hear them a little bit in the background other than that it's just silent big birds most of the time but i am curious for any of you who live in my area down here in southwest florida and maybe it's just my location on the water, but I'm wondering if I put out a little bird feeder, if I can attract the songbirds or are they just not here by the salt water? That's a possibility. This is all very new to me. So anything you might know, I would love to know. So I had this lace scrap in some old Christmas lace pieces that I had bought off of an eBay seller years ago. I love the little silver balls, so I ended up trimming it to fit, as you see, and I'm going to use it as garland across these trees, and I think it just gives it a little bit of a nice finishing touch.
I decided to use this bronze, well, I guess it's copper. It's more of a copper color paint pen to do the wooden stump part on the bottom of the Christmas tree shaker. I like that contrast with the gold. I think it finished it off pretty nicely. And then I'm going to add some Nouveau drops to the star on the top. And that is it for today. I love these little Christmas tree embellishments. I will definitely make some again next year. The die was super easy to use and the embellishments turned out pretty cute. So thank you so much for watching. Be on the lookout for another Christmas embellishment video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.